your case, Mama, is a womb problem. It has been giving you consent. I've got a medical report here. Of, of what? Uh, they don't discover what is they wrong. They don't discover anything. Mm. This is an attack in your womb. I'm booked for operation on Tuesday. Huh? The coming Tuesday. That's what I'm hearing that to you, that's what I say to you, it's a womb. Oh, Jesus. So I want to tell you that you won't go for operation. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Come on. You are free. You are free. You won't go for operation. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Because this lady, she's coming here for the first time. And I'm just seeing that if I don't speak with her further, she will have a problem. But, but she, she's, she's like this. What is it that doctors are saying? What are they saying concerning this medical report? The report here shows that there's nothing wrong, but the pain persists. The pain is carrying on. Yes. But I want to tell you this, Mama. Are you still feeling the pain? Now I don't feel the pain, but so in the morning I was feeling the, the pain. The pain was serious in the morning. Very serious. So after I touched you, the pain left you. Yes. yes. So Mama, I want to tell you, this pain will never come back to Amen. you. Amen. Let me see the letter. Let me see the letter. I just want to put it down like this. So you are free, Mama. Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Cherish TV. We are here in Cherish Missionary Church on our Sunday life service where the man of God is prophesying people and we'll be hearing their confirmations. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? I'm Pastor Divine Kona from Guiani. The ministry is at Malamulele. The man of God today located you. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? The man of God told me about the, the, the pain that I had that I have got a pain in, in me and it's a womb. And I confirm it to be true because I have got a medical report. On the 9th, I went to a medic clinic. They sent me to a scan and x-ray to find out what is wrong. And the medical report come out showing that nothing is wrong with me. But the pain was continuing in my body until I decided to come and be under the grace uh, is that is where my problem was located and for how long have you been feeling this pain uh, it's more than 18 years now it's, long. it's a long time now and how was it affecting you it's affecting me because i'm in and out of work sometimes i go to work sometimes i don't go to work sometimes i go to the ministry sometimes i go there i don't go there to preach because of the pain and then you also mentioned uh, the fact that you were booked for an operation when the man of God was speaking with you. Can you also tell us about that? Yeah, on the 9th when I went there for x-ray and scan, they checked me, they find that there's nothing. Then they make arrangement that on the, on the 16th and 17th, I must do a colonoscopy. They call it colonoscopy where they're going to insert a tube to check what is wrong in my body. So after the, 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 the test, they're going to do an operation to find out what is wrong. And uh, the man of God also said this is your first time of coming here. Is that true? It's my first time. And when, and when you decided to come here today, what is it that you were praying that God should do upon your life? Number one, I prayed and fasted when, while I was at home that the man of God locate my case. I, I, I was praying that I want God to locate my case because it's long that I've been suffering. It's long. It's a long time. That it was my cry. But what surprised me during the night, the pain was, you know, it was worse as if I can, I can pass out the way it was terrible. Yeah. Are you still feeling the pain now? No, now I don't feel the pain. I'm okay now. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, what I can say to the viewers there is that God is able. I was reading in the Bible, meditating about Job chapter 42. I think it's verse 2, which says, I know that God can do all things. 
then I believe the word of God because I see that he's doing something in my life. And my case, I believe it's over. Thank you. Can you come here, my brother? God loves you, eh? Amen. Because I saw a spirit of death. Amen. Where people are dying in your family. Amen. Eh? Amen, yes. And this brings fear on you. Yes. Because when you sleep, you dream dead. Yes. So I cancel the spirit. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you say what? <laughs> eh? I can't say it. In Jesus' name. Leave him. Huh? Please. You please. want to kill everybody? Please. Do you want to kill everybody? Please. Please, please, please Maganisa, please. Huh? You know we were fighting with him last of last week ago. So please leave this guy. He must die. He, he must die. die. He must die. He must so die. It's the spirit he of death. Die. He must die. Please. Okay, this please. man will never die. Please. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Dr. Muniazi. I came from Bochum, Limpopo province. The prophecy that I received is that um, there were people that they planned to make me dead. But uh, because God loves me, he delayed. And then even this thing happens last when I was home. Then there were demons in me. So they were crying that they were putting things on the way so that they want to kill me. But now I'm happy because I got the prophecy that uh, I won't die. Then I will live until. And what were the signs that were showing that there are certain people that are after your life? Yes, because really there's a things that always there's a people, most especially at home, they don't like me. They hate me. They said uh, I look like I'm great. So, they say many things. There's the challenge that I have uh, is many, 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 many. So this, I don't know how can I explain them. And when the man of God prayed for you, you manifested. How are you feeling after your deliverance? Yes, I feel great because now I, I hope and I won't die because I was even scared, like as he said, because always when I go home, I was always praying, 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 praying so that I can reach home. But... Uh, like as I said, this thing happened last, then now it's happened again. So which means uh, I won't die, I'll live forever. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, to the viewers, what I can encourage them is that they must know that the God that we are saving is the great God. Then uh, if really you believe, then he will make it, then you will make it. Then it's what I can uh, advise them to do so. There's a demon that is following you until today who doesn't want you to stay with your wife. You understand? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? I was not sure. Yes. yes. Where is your wife now? She's at Mpumalang. And why are you here and she's there? No, because of the situation, I can't afford staying with her at the same place. That's what I'm talking about. That There's a demon that doesn't want you to stay with your wife. You will never afford. What if you won't afford for many years? What will happen? Let me bless you. You will stay with your wife. You are blessing. My name is Louis Nyati. I'm coming from Mpumalanga at, in Dampresi. Papa, can you tell us the prophecy you received today and the confirmation? Uh, Apostle told me that I got a demon that is separating me with my, in, with my wife to stay together. So he, he, said to, he asked me why we didn't stay together. So the problem is uh, I'm not uh, affording because we got children and I'm not affording to take my wife and my children to come and stay together because of these reasons. Uh, the house where I'm staying is too small, so I can't uh, uh, lo uh, co accommodate my children and my wife together. She just come as a visitor, maybe during the school holidays, and she ca go back home. The money that I'm earning is too little. Yeah, that's a problem. 
she's staying at at Mpumalang. And how do you feel that the man of God has told you about this challenge? No, at the moment I'm feeling good because I believe once the man of God spoke about this problem, he's releasing me, and he prayed for me. I believe it. And I believe this problem is, it, it will be removed from me. We must pray for you. Amen. Concerning your family. Amen. You understand? Yes. Because now, now you are married, but what is happening in your family? Nobody marry and enjoy marriage. Yes. Huh? It's true, Apostol. Mm. Mm. Where is your husband? My husband passed on last year. Huh? My husband passed on last year. So that's why I say nobody marry and enjoy marriage. Yes, even my mom never enjoyed her marriage. Huh? Even my mom never enjoyed her marriage. My aunt also divorced. My other aunt also... But you're wearing a ring here. But you're wearing a ring. Do you want to marry? Yes, Apostle. Who? A Christian, a born-again Christian, a God-fearing man. God loves you. So Thank we need Jesus. to cancel the spirit in your family. Yes. You'll be able to marry. Come on, come on. Come. Bring her, she's not yet free. Bring her. This is a spirit not only of her. Come on. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. You are free. Rise up. You are free. Everybody will marry in your family. Rise up. Tell us about this story. What happened when you marry? What happened? I, I got married, uh, but I got married to a man that was not born again. And then he passed on last year. How did he pass on? He was shot during a hijacking. Do you hear that? Shot during a hijacking. So you marry a person, you are the one who is vulnerable, but the spirit is in your family. Can I tell you this? You are going to marry a Christian. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have been praying. I'm Lindwe Manaso, I'm from Skoro, Rotiglein. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Mm. Daddy has revealed me that I'm starting to experience whatever my mother was experiencing before, the problem of not hearing properly. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm hearing nicely. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Mm. I can say to the viewers, mm, whatever Daddy is prophesying about your life, you must take it and believe it. Huh? I hate you! Why you hate me? Why? Have you ever seen this in his family? Eh? I, I can't hear you. Why have you praying for this boy? Why have you praying for this boy? Yeah. And I want you before. You want me before? I want you. We met before. Uh, we, do, we never met. Huh? But you know what you are doing to this boy? I don't did like you, it. Did we meet before? I never met you. But so what are you doing to this boy? I don't like it. How did you want me? Remember those days. Huh? Remember those days. Which years? Last year of last year when I told you, leave this boy, I want to talk to him. Huh? Last year of last year when I told you, leave this boy, I want to talk to him. You were telling me? Yes. You? Huh? So what are you doing to him? I want him to suffer. I want him to suffer. I said I want him to suffer! It's not your home. Don't speak like it's your home. I know. You say what? I know. So don't shout again. What I do to you? You know the problem is what? What the boy is doing to us, we don't like it. And we never liked the boy from the beginning. Do you hear me on that? But you know God wants to use this man. That's what I'm saying. But all the family. You are forgetting. All the family. 
family. You are forgetting. All the family. Stop shouting. That's what I don't like. I say, stop shouting. You say what? I say, all the family will be free. All the family will be free. So, who are you? I'm the ancestral spirit. Huh? I'm the ancestral spirit. So, Why are you doing this to me? I have been confusing the boy. I have been a behind the boy. All I right. want him Listen, down. pack your things and go. Now, one, two, three. You are defeated forever. Raise up, brother. How do you feel? I feel like daddy. Were you aware there's a demon? Yes, daddy, I'm aware. You know, every time I'm fighting this thing, but it's been the time. The time that God wants to use you has come. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. Go away from him. My name is Norman Mbwam, I came from Zimbabwe. Yes, uh, the, uh, the prophecy I received is that, in fact, uh, what happens that day, he start to pray for me, then I manifested. Then when I manifested, that's when the time you have come, God wants to use you now. Leave it. I hate you! I hate you! Huh? I hate you! Why you hate me? Why? Have you ever seen this in his family? Yeah? I can't hear you. Why have you praying for this boy? Why have you praying for this boy? You and I want you before. You want me before? I want you. We met before. Uh, we, do, we never met. Uh? But you know what you are doing to this boy? I don't did like you, it. Did we meet before? I never met you. But so what you did to this boy? I don't like it. How did you want me? Remember those days. Uh? Remember those days. Which years? Last year, was last year when I told you, leave this boy, I want to talk to him. Huh? Last year of last year when I told you, leave this boy, I want to talk to him. You were telling me? Yes. You? Huh? So what are you doing to him? I want him to suffer. I want him to suffer. I say I want him to suffer! It's not your home. Don't speak like it's your home. I know. You say what? I know. So don't shout again. What I do to you? You know the problem is what? What the boy is doing to us, we don't like it. And we never liked the boy from the beginning. Do you hear me on that? But you know God wants to use this man. That's what I'm saying. But all the family. You are forgetting. All the family. You are forgetting. All the family. Stop shouting. That's what I don't like. I say stop shouting. You say what? I say, all the family will be free. All the family will be free. So, who are you? I'm the ancestral spirit. Huh? I'm the ancestral spirit. So, Why are you doing this to me? I have been confusing the boy. I have been a behind the boy. All I right. want him Listen, down. pack your things and go. Now, one, two, three. You are defeated forever. No, I'm so much feeling relieved. Okay, well, what, all I can say is uh, to the viewers all the world, you know, uh, things of God, you have to be strong in it. It was always the devil want to destroy what you have started. So the moment you believe in God, keep on pressing on. No matter whatever challenge comes in your way, whatever spirits try to hound you, never give in, but stand on the word of God, reading the word of God and praying. And no matter what, the Lord will see you through. Thank you are very worried, but you are very worried. Yes, daddy. I say you are very worried. Yes, daddy. But you must not do what you are doing. Yes. You understand? Yes. I see you worried, but don't do what you are doing. Because what you want to do is a very wrong thing. You understand? Mm. Because you have hurt someone. Yes. Eh? Yes, daddy. So don't do what you are doing. You must... You must, uh, how can I say, you have hurt someone. 
you have, you have hated someone. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Dad. Eh? Yes, Dad. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Dad. So don't do what I, I'm giving you direction. Don't be robbed yes. by someone. Yes, Dad. Because I saw a lady who wants to remove pregnancy. You know that? Yes, I know. Eh? I know that. The lady wants to remove pregnancy. Oh, uh, I don't know she wants to remove. Eh? I don't know she wants to remove it. No, it's like someone spoke with her and said, don't do that because you have hated the person. Yes, also I spoke to her that she must not do that. Eh? I also, I spoke to her that uh, since this has happened, we must not... Why, why you spoke with her that way? Uh, because I saw that she was heartbroken, so uh, I was just telling you her... You told her she must not remove the child? She must not remove it. So why you tell her she must not remove the child? Uh, this, it came to me the day as I, I was not 100% sure that it could be mine, but after, after when I found out uh, that it can be Look mine... Look here, I don't want to talk more than that. God loves you. There's no way that... If you come to Jobek, you can say, I've never been in Jobek. Mm. There's no way. So, you, you need to reconcile the way I'm saying it. You need to reconcile. All right. Dad. You went to Jobek. Yes. Eh? Yes, Dad. So, reconcile. God loves you. Thank and I'm you. worried when I'm speaking with you because I'm worried because now I'm looking here. You know, I'm looking here, I'm seeing many people know your story. No. Yeah. Many people now are like, I know your story. No. So can I tell you this? I don't know your story. I'm telling you, it's better you take that lady and become yours. Uh, we thank God. Thank you. That's the reason. That's the reason why I'm speaking with you. Because what if she give birth to a child like you. What are you going to do? Yes, uh, since I've been praying, uh, this lady, she's been coming. I can't hear you. The mic there, I can't hear. I mean, I was praying since I hated her. But when I pray, every time God will reveal this lady to me. Every time. Even when I try to ignore her, but she will just, God will just bring Go her. Go and ask forgiveness if she's around here. Uh, I, she's, I don't know where she is, but she's around. She's around here? Where is the lady? It's like a short lady like this. You don't want a short woman. Uh, that was my challenge. You say what? No, I... Uh... Where is the lady? Where is the lady? If she's, a, if she's around, let her come. She fall down. Is it? Make it straight. Can you see how this lady is like now? It's because of you. And uh, this is, it can be a curse to you. I'm sure I understand it. Look here. If you go to Jobek, don't say you went to Peter Marie's back. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Leave it. Leave it down. You need to ask that lady apology. What she's going through is strange. God loves you.